It's a great adventure. Anything can happen. There's no rules in fiction writing. The rules are there for you to break them. First thing you do is you know the rules. And then once you know them, then you can go about rejigging them and breaking them. So I start writing longhand. I've grown to like blank pages and just a pen in my hand. I think that's my favorite part of writing a book is that raw compositional adventure that, that takes up, the, that's the early part of a book. That's the fun part. It's the tightening it down at the end, the editing and the final push to get it over the line. That's the bit I find difficult, but the early part is a great adventure. You know, anything can happen. The classes I run, they're not instructive. I am not the kind of teacher who stands and leans in over a student's shoulder and goes, no, not like that, like this. What I do is I put a series of trials and experiments and kind of creative adventures in front of a student. And this university pioneered the teaching of uh, creative writing at undergrad level. We had this very adventurous idea that young people would be really interested in exploring creative writing as part of their other menu of subjects that they could take on and uh, brought in just brilliant, expectant, vibrant students. To be engaged with those students was, uh, was and is a continual pleasure uh, and a privilege. Galway itself is part of the curriculum. In my very first lecture and talk to the students, I say that, um, you know, you're going to be reading books and you're going to be reading each other's work and everything, but one of your texts is Galway City. It is a small, hospitable city steeped in history, it was a city that was at the far end of the Elizabethan writ and it had an independent spirit. It has an artistic spirit and it's a great city to be young, to be meeting other people, other young writers as well. That's one of the one of their primary texts is Galway City. It makes them better academics, it makes them better scholars.